Hey guys, Gary here, going to be talking to you today about The Walking Dead, Season 5, Episode 12, Remember, and this will be my thoughts on the episode. Wow, what an episode that was. It was absolutely one of my favourite episodes of The Walking Dead, and I probably say that every week about every episode, but really this time, this, this has to be one of them. I know there was not much action with the walkers, but it was just weird to see them um, to see a community that is actually good on the Walking Dead. Um, straight from the off, like when they walked into the gates and the guy said, "Hand over your weapons." It was a bit like how he's done it at Terminus, and you could tell instantly Rick wasn't going to hand over his gun. And Aaron tells the tells Nicholas to back off and say, um, "They're not even sure if they're staying yet." So I thought that was um, thought that was pretty good. And then Rick goes Sasha, and Sasha shoots the walker in the head just to really sh- I think that was to show that they mean business and that they're happy enough just walking back outside that gate because they can handle themselves then we have after the incident outside to skip straight into Deanna's house who is the leader of Alexandra who replaces Douglas from the comics which I was a bit disappointed but I suppose they can't keep everything the same um, I just love the setup of that scene with Rick and her because you know with the camera and then you can see some shots from the video camera, and it was a really cool thing. It was like a, an interview process type thing, and I just like the way Rick was really honest, saying that he's killed people. Um, he warned that you shouldn't open your gates because it's because it's all about survival now. And I thought, I thought, at least he's being honest with her, but he shouldn't be saying those things in case she kicks him out. And this is probably the best thing they've got. And then it goes off that, and then. You see them in the house and Carl and Rick kind of taking it all in. You can tell like, they, they're a bit worried and they, they get told that the two houses are just for the, for all of them. And two big houses like that, that's just... I think you can see the shock on Rick's face and Carl's face. They couldn't quite believe what was happening. And then you see the shot of Rick in the shower and the water and he's like head joining because he's probably had another shower in weeks, months. And then... Um, we have that very sad moment, and uh, it's probably got to be one of the saddest loss in the Walking Dead history. I mean, Hitchell's was sad, Beth's was sad, but not can come close to Rick's beard. I was, I was upset. I was, I was gonna cry because it's an epic beard, and now it's gone. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was good to see Rick's face again because you, you forget, don't you? You forget that he's actually not that young. The beard was aging him quite a lot. You you forget you forget that he is actually about forty odd. The beard was making him look in his fifties, and it was um, it was good to see. And then that girl knocks on the door, and he just um, he answers it, and she offers to give him a haircut and that. And I um, thought that was nice. Uh, Jess, I think her name's Jessie. Yeah, uh, she gave him a haircut and welcomed him in. And Rick's being all awkward, like you don't even know me. Um, it's got to be very hard for Rick to settle in. Also in the episode, you can see that Daryl's going to be finding it very tricky to settle in. He's just out on his own at the minute, isn't he? He's just not himself. Well, he's just gone back to his old self more than anything. Um, Deanna said she hasn't even got a job for Daryl because she can't work him out yet. So he's going to have a tricky time at the safe zone until he gets that job. Or if he does something and he gets deserted, then maybe... But I'm not going to go into too much about Daryl because I'm going to make a video on him about where I think his character's going and what they're going to be doing with Daryl in the future of The Walking Dead because I've had a lot of people messaging me about what I think's going to happen and what they think and it's just going to be a really interesting thing to talk about. Carol made me laugh in the episode, especially when she handed her guns over at the start and she just looked like she was defenceless and shy and stupid and clumsy and... In the interview process, she was saying like she loved the husband and the group basically saved her and if it wasn't for the group, she'd be dead. And she said she's a real people person and that she, um, she a, a job an ideal job would be to get involved with the community and it was just a bit of a smartness by Carol. You know, she's gonna be like a bit of the spy, the inside he is, and I think it's gonna be great to see that because Carol, we all know she's a tough ass and uh, she could kill anyone and. It's just going to be good to see her play this um, role. And when she came out in those clothes and Daryl said, you look ridiculous, it was just making me laugh. And it was just so funny. And it's just going to be so interesting to see what Carol's going to be doing and like the inside and if she likes it or what. <laughs> now, 
Glenn, Noah and Tara got put on the running team where they're making runs and they were with Adrian and Nicholas. Um, straight from the off, you get a bad vibe out there, the them two because I think they do and it just seems wrong and they're saying about the people who they lost on, on a run and that's why these three are on their team now because they're replacing them. And then they say something about a walker that they've got chained up and it's gone and the walker comes out and straight away our guys want to kill that walker but they're saying no, back off. And it came pretty close to that Tara was going to die. And Glenn just came in there and killed it, which is great. Um, this guy's moaning and Glenn, Glenn's like saying stuff back. And when they get back to the safe zone, it carries on and he swings for Glenn. Glenn ducks and come, comes up and punches him in the face and he gets on his ass. And it was just brilliant to see because you don't realise how tough Glenn is until he's tested. And he is tested then and it was great. And then Daryl gets involved, and that's it then with Daryl. You know, Daryl just it's like a dog got her off his leash, she's just going for it. So it's just that funny, and Rick gets him off. And so does Michonne, the calm and down. That's where they get offered the job, Rick and Michonne, of being the, the town's cops. And Rick accepts, and so does Michonne. Um, and then you have that scene a bit later on where Rick comes down the stairs and he's wearing a cop uniform, he's all clean shaved, and it's basically like season one again when Rick was the cop. And it was just good to see him in that cop role, and you can see Cole looking at him like, like how much he's changed and how much he's improved. They can look with now that he's cleaned up, and I think Cole sort of saw his old dad again, basically. And Rick goes outside, and he's having a conversation with Daryl and Carol, and basically he's saying if things go wrong and they're weak, we'll take this place. And you're like, oh shit, man, <laughs> Rick's gonna take it. <laughs> um. I can't see Rick taking over yet, but he he's definitely a future leader of the Alexander Safe Zone. He's already getting a bit of respect, isn't he? So he will. He'll probably end up being the main man in the future. Now, some additional things I got from the episode was like the girl who Cole's trying to talk to and she jumps over the fence and she's just looking dead suspicious. And I have, I've already got a feeling there's something off about her. Maybe she's a spy from another group who uh going to take the zone or... Something stupid like that, and I think it'll be called to work it out first, and I can see something happening there, but I think she's definitely going to be the Sophia 2.0 in the future. I can see her being the next Sophia, because Carl needs that friend, and when he told, when when, when the lad said she came in uh, a few months ago, then it's just like, ah, oh, makes sense, she's got background now, in, in the wild, and on her own, and... It could be this give her a bit of the Sophia story and let Carl have a friend. Um, yeah, that would be good to see. Also, the missing gun. Now, I, I think the girl, again, has got the gun because she's been out and about and she's probably found it. Um, there's something significant about that gun. Like, it's going to be used to kill someone or put down someone. Um, I can see that happening very, very... Like, in the finale, it'll be that gun. That gun's significant because... Otherwise, it's just stupid and it's just a bit weird about the gun because Rick, Rick looked a bit like, you know, that someone dropped this gun. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be significant. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be a plot to that gun. Then we also have Jesse's husband, Pete. Um, when Rick's out and Pete goes, Pete goes, welcome to Alexander. You just know straight away, yep, yeah, you're the dickhead. Because <laughs> Gareth went, welcome to Terminus and the governor, welcome to Woodbury. And you just know, yeah, Rick's going to end up killing you. <laughs> um, just the way he was shot with him in the shadows. It was dead noir, smoking a smoke, smoking a ciggy. And it was just dead, um, it was dead like, mysterious. And, yeah, I can, I can see him being a problem. And so could, I can see Adrian being a problem as well, and Nicholas. Um, it's just going to be a very, it's going to be a good place to be, Alexandra, but it's going to be having the bullshit inside. It's like the farm. The farm was a great place, but it had its problems. Shane. <laughs> but this is going to have, like, loads of Shane's problems. <laughs> um, it's just going to be a really exciting storyline at the minute. And I can't wait to see how it progresses, because I love character development. And we actually hear dialogue today, which is a really great thing. Because <laughs> usually you just like, a, this world ain't made for us no more. <laughs> so stupid like that and it's just it's just gonna be um, I wanna see some character development with Eugene and Abraham and Rosita because I wanna see how they adjust and I wanna see what job they gave Eugene because there's, I heard there was a school I can see Eugene being a teacher a science teacher and 
that'd be good. And Abraham probably constructing and Rosita. I have no idea what she'll do. <laughs> Maybe she'll do the same, but uh, I don't know. And Sasha, I can see Sasha being a lookout on the, you know, what Andrea done. Um, yeah. So that's it for this week. Um. Thumbs up if you loved the episode, thumbs down if you didn't, and comment. I want to know what you liked about it and what you didn't, and I'll see you next time. I'll also be back next, um, sometime this week making a video on Daryl and where I think his character's going. Um, also, I'll be doing a prediction video for the next episode, and I'll probably be doing some extra videos. Any suggestions, just send them to me and I'll probably make the videos. As always, guys, head over to the Walking Dead fan base and get involved in the discussion. Um... We all look forward to seeing you. Um, also, if you're watching this on the Walking Dead Dead Talk dot com, uh, please cl click the subscribe tab. And thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.